It's 74 years since a World War II veteran fired his last shots as a tank gunner in World War II. While visiting the World War II Memorial in Washington today, Clarence Smoyer from Lee Heighton was surprised with a special honor for his heroism all those years ago. Newswatch 16's John Meyer was there to witness the fitting tribute. This is a memorial to all those who served in World War II. And today, Clarence Smoyer from Lee Heighton stood here and got a medal dedicated to the heroes from war. Smoyer came here thinking he was just visiting Washington, D.C. as a tourist. But instead, he was surprised with the ceremony presenting him with the Bronze Star. 74 years later, Smoyer served in World War II. He was a tank gunner. His story is featured in the book written by Adam Makos of Montoursville, Spearhead. It tells Smoyer's heroic story. It tells of how he went into the Battle of Cologne, fired pivotal shots in the war that helped lead to the American victory. And today, Smoyer got his honor for that. Clarence, just what has this been like today? Oh, breathtaking. It was wonderful, beautiful, great. <laughs> I think he puts a lot of value on that medal, not necessarily because of how people are going to treat him, but because of the men he saw fight and die and receive that medal. So when he sees, when he looks at that, when he puts it on, I think he feels all their sacrifices. Now also part of Clarence Moyer's tank crew was John DeRiggi from Scranton. He has since passed away, but his son was here to also get a Bronze Star today. We have his story, Clarence's story, and so much more coming up in a special on the Pennsylvania Road tonight on Newswatch 16 at 6. John Meyer, Newswatch 16 at the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C.